My family has misunderstood me and emotionally rejected me my entire life. My parents divorced when I was in my mom's womb. I never see my parents together or get along until they were in court for my daughter. My whole life, I was in the crossfire between my mother and my father. I felt alone and abandoned. No one paid attention to the pain and hurt I felt. My dad was there physically and emotionally he was not around. I couldn't speak to my dad one-on-one -on -one when I needed some guidance. My stepmom always had to be in the picture and that had a huge impact on me. My parents have labeled me as a troublemaker but they don't understand why I've acted out. They don't know the events leading up to the troublemaking girl. My dad and my stepmom are both functioning alcoholics. I'm the product of that. For 22 years, I have soaked in others' pains and hatred and instilled hate into my heart. Now I'm expected to forget it all and fake it and just brush it off. My family wants to save me, but I needed saving years ago. So when my own father feels doubt in my mind when I'm a month away from the finish line, I looked at you, Dad, and I felt straight betrayal. And why did that happen? Hang on, hang on. When I was a month apart, they already had And why did I do that? Why did I do that? Does because matter, you got caught sneaking out of an SLE smoking it, spice. Okay, and I said, if you want to be a kid. It's all about progress. No, no if you want to be, if you wanna be a kid and go party, mm -hmm. go party. All right. That's what I gave but you. But a month that. away. That's, that was your on. choice. A month away, my own father. You got kicked out. I didn't right. do that. I said, go have it. Go have that life. Because, right. again, my process was twofold. Right. Take care of your daughter. Make sure she was safe mm -hmm. in a good environment. Yeah. And then right. take care of you. At the time, it wouldn't have worked out. You're and right. And then because take care was, of you. I was getting pulled from the courts and my family. And the whole time, I was suffering. You're right. We I wasn't listening. Whole, I wasn't listening to myself. We've been here the whole time. I wasn't listening to myself. You're okay. right. Hey, Sarah. On that timeline, okay. it wasn't right. I okay. was able to say that and openly admit that to you. You know how hard that was for me to say that? My point. That I wasn't able, you're, you're, do you want the kudos that you can do a better job? No, Sarah. Go, go ahead. Sarah, I no, mean, come I, that on. never came into the Who picture to, to do with a better job. Family? You brought me okay. here on earth. Hey, Sarah. I don't want to compete with my own Sarah. job. <laughs> I love you. We all love you. We're here for you and for the baby. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important that you know that's why we are here today. You are not living an honest life. This is not denial. I just sat there and openly admit. Sarah, we've had you, you followed. You, you just, we know everywhere you go. All right. Okay? You've so had stop. me followed. That means that we know so, that you're so, involved in so, the, the bathhouses. We, so, that means we know that you're okay. out dealing drugs. We know, right. we know that you're on the bad parts all of right. town. All right. So I'm not going to go up here and be character assassinated anymore. My life has been character assassinated for the past two years. Do you understand? Why don't I you be honest with me? Why, why are, well, just be honest with me, then there is, is no say? character assassination. What is there to say? Be honest. I am honest. But okay, I'm not going to be okay. with, them, with them being dishonest and well, lying and going to sideline me once again on national television. Do you want to come back from this? Sir? Okay, look, if you don't like huh. what they're saying, then it's talk ridiculous. to me, but tell me mm -hmm. the truth. You're not telling me the truth. All right. It's my life. It's my life. It is. It's my life. And I've been living my life their way my whole life. No. I, am, I am suffering now. I've had an abortion at 22 weeks last year. He doesn't know. He doesn't know when he took my kid and I went through a double pane window for my daughter. How would I know so that? So when I want to live an honest life and they're going around me, they're lying to me. They're looking me in the eye right now and telling me they're here for me. We are here for you, Sarah. They'll have evidence oh gosh, against Sarah, me in court. For you. Sarah. Sarah, so what stop. Is it? We're here to get you healthy <laughs> right. so we can get healthy so as a family. So this is a Sarah problem. No, so we can this get healthy. This is a Sarah problem then. No. Sarah, See, you need to look at yourself. Problem. Can we look at yourself too, Jamie? That's what we're all doing here. It's all, it's all, I'm a product of it all. So what is it really Sarah, about? Sarah, I'm not here to deny you of, of how or, you or feel. Or you just make yourself look like a saint and I'm over here. What? You tried to help me, Jamie? No. You've I, tried I, to I didn't save say me? That actually. Have you given me words of courage? Hey, have you given me hey, words? Sarah, let me tell you have something. You taken me I'm in? your sister. I do yeah. anything for you. And when uh, I had to sit outside that black house everything. and watch every yeah. transaction of girls and All men right. going okay. in. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> what a joke. I told them not to do this to me. That's crazy. <laughs>